Later cancer cells can hide themselves from immune cells. Immune cells, they can naturally see and kill them. But because of this particular characteristic of the cancer to hide themselves with, they don't. So this publication we just published on the last eBiomedicine highlights like a mechanism that the bladder cancers use to hide themselves against the immune system. The bladder cancer cells, they are able to talk to the immune cells by secreting molecules like factors that reach the immune cells and program them to not be able to see them anymore. And now that we know this information, we can target it. We can drug it in a way that we uncover the bladder cancer cells again to be visible for the immune to attack them. Josh, our student, had the Eureka moment by discovering like, this is what is happening. We know this pathway. It, it has the potential to be, be um, targeted and be a potential therapy. You know, when you do hear those words in those early stages, that it is cancer, it, it does hit home. Bladder cancer never, never entered my mind. It never did. Bladder cancer is surprisingly common. It is within the top 10 most common cancers worldwide. No matter how much you think it's only something small, get checked, just get checked. I've only just been walking around today in this, in this building. I'm just amazed, you know, like just everything that's gone on. Um, so the fact that people are just working on this all the time for something new, I think gives everyone every type of cancer, it just gives everybody that, that hope. It's definitely very motivating. Um, you know, it gives you a sense of drive every day to, to come in and try and do your best work. Hopefully in the next three to five years, we would be able to present the patients with extra options. Ultimately find a cure for, for cancer is what we're trying to do. So yeah, it's very um, yeah, motivating. People who are going through cancer, like I said, when you hear those words, it's the hope that keeps, keeps you going.